Hey, welcome to Kiki TV. Last week we talked about narcissistic abuse and this week we're gonna talk about how to heal from it. This is really important. If you intend to leave, be sure that you are super firm in your commitment. If you're going to leave, leave. If there's any part of you that isn't sure if you wanna leave, the narcissistic abuser is gonna find that vulnerable spot and they're gonna slither in there and keep you abused. So you must make sure that you are firm in your commitment to save yourself and to leave this abusive relationship. If you haven't been able to leave yet, but you're planning to leave this abusive relationship, while you're there, gray rock is a good technique so you can protect yourself from a narcissist. And what you do is you do not engage the narcissist. You stay emotionally and mentally neutral. It de-escalates everything so that you're a little bit safer until you can get out. When you're finally ready to leave the abusive relationship, first thing is you must keep your boundaries very clear. Block their phone calls, block them on social media, block anyone that knows them who can tell them something about you. Interesting fact, people that support the narcissistic abuser are called flying monkeys. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> flying monkeys are like the henchmen for the abuser. Beware of these people. They will act like they're your friend and they will get all the information and then they will bring it back to the abuser so the abuser can keep abusing you. Beware of flying monkeys and do not stalk their social media. Don't do it. That is gonna bring you back in and probably there'll be some manipulation on there. They'll be with someone beautiful and talking about how fabulous their life is and then you'll start thinking, oh my God, they're happy without me. Don't stalk social media. Get your no back. For as long as you were in that abusive relationship, you were not allowed to say no. No one says no to a narcissistic abuser and if they do, you are tortured and abused and minimized and invalidated until your no becomes a yes because all they want to do is have you do what they want. Now, you're away from them, you're no longer being abused, you have to get your no back. Saying no to things that you don't want is gonna be so good for your self-esteem and for your personal power. This is gonna help you to get yourself back. You've been exposed to a mental disorder. So how do you get this out of your body, out of your energy? You have to clean it out. Weight training helps you feel strong and powerful as you're building the muscle. You're like really in your body, reacquainting yourself to your body. In spiritual terms, it is said that abuse victims, sort of their soul leaves their body. But psychology calls this disassociation. Yoga also gets you back into your body and as you're stretching with yoga you are releasing cellular trauma. One thing that I found really helpful is hands-on healing. Carmonium and Reiki and Jin Shin Jitsu, sound baths, prayer, there's meditation and journaling. Meditation helps you to get rid of the trauma. Journaling is a way that you could figure out who you are now that this has happened and then we have the big one, therapy. Therapy will help you to figure out why this happened in the first place and what in your life made you comfortable with this kind of behavior. It'll help you to realize what you missed, what you ignored. It's important to debrief and reflect so that this never happens again. And I see people who don't do that get into abusive relationships over and over and over again because they're not stopping and thinking, well, how did this happen and how can I not have this ever happen again? Learn to love yourself. Learn to forgive yourself. You do not have to beat yourself up because you got beat up. It actually makes no sense at all. Therapy can help you to forgive yourself. You can skip the whole guilt, shame, and self-abuse and self-destructive behavior. Because often, when abuse victims leave their abuser, we carry on abusing ourselves for a while. Don't do that. You can find a support group. I actually found support groups to be very helpful. In the support group, not only can you tell your story, but you can hear other stories, other experiences of abuse, and also other experiences of how people healed and go from an abuse victim to being an abuse survivor. And when you're in a support group, well, no one understands you more than them. And it feels really good to have someone understand. The support is really, it's, it's priceless. Clean slate. No one is allowed to be 
unkind, they're not allowed to demean you or condescend to you or minimize or hurt you physically or yell at you or make you feel like you don't matter or make you feel small. None of that is allowed. And even if you get the littlest inkling of that, that can send you backwards in your abuse victim treatment. Knowledge is power. Psychoeducation is the education of psychology get some. What you'll end up finding out is, is that the person wasn't so brilliant. That there's usually like a very textbook way of abusing someone. If you have the details of what this all consists of, you won't ever let it happen again because you will see it coming. So why did the narcissist find you in the first place? It's because you're loving and you're kind and you're gentle and you're sympathetic and compassionate and empathetic and full of goodness and they want to get that all. Instead of giving it to them, a person who wants to destroy you with it, turn it on yourself. Turn the affection and the attention and the love. Reconstruct yourself with your gentle, loving, kind nature. All of that stuff, turn it on yourself because that's what's gonna rebuild you and that's what's gonna heal you. And once you're healed, really healed, you are never gonna allow this again. And that's what we're going for. Best self, best life. And you deserve that. I'm so happy and honored to share this information with you. And I really hope that you can dig deep and you can find the courage and the strength and the self-love to stop your abuse and to heal because you can heal. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next week. Thank you so much.